Hello everyone, we are at Jack Dawes Castle, guests of John Joe O'Neill, and also we have John Franken with us. And this is sort of masterclass, they say about no country for old men. Well, these two are both 65. They have tremendous Cheltenham records, 20 winners between them, gold cups, champion hurdles, champion hurdle, sea pigs on the same horse. But what I want to go back to is how different the place was then as a race course and the ground. I mean, they used to start the Gold Cup behind the sands, didn't they? It this used is to... up to what, when you arrived? Well, 1969, it was out of sight, the start of the three mile. You used to jump off and go around and then gallop up past the stands where they pull up now. Second time And round. it would be so First heavy. Time, yeah. You know, you could hear them sloshing through the ground. And John Joe just reminded me about Brown Lad's um, Gold Cup. And Richard Pittman rode a horse called Flatter, and I can't remember what I rode. We were struggling to keep going, going down the hill. Normally they're freewheeling, and you think you're going to save a bit. Yeah. I've kept thinking, we're going to be do well to get to the <laughs> bottom of this hill. And we thought we jumped off at a slow enough gallop to get there. Brown Lab was already, you know, celebrating. And so. and it got wicked deep, didn't it? Before they put the massive new draining system in. Oh, they oh, walked, they, well, you talk about walking down the hill. That's all you need to know. Yeah, bottomless it was, really. It took a lot of getting, and as I say, trying to get up the hill. Getting down the hill was bad enough. For getting up I wonder the hill what the horses impossible. would say if they could come back today and say to these ones that are going round on this bit of half <laughs> decent right. ground. You know, because literally used to go down and they'd be almost falling over the ground to be so soft. And the race course itself, where the pull up area is now, it went on and round behind, if you like, the best mate enclosure. And yeah. when that stopped, that's when Sea Pigeon started winning champion hurdles, isn't that Yeah, right? when, when they used to go up the hill twice, he never, he had two goals, I think, or maybe three even, and he couldn't get home, you know. And then when they went around, around the bottom, uh, he won the next one, and then John won the next one on him. I said, I'm not Amazing. riding him unless they change that course. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was a bit, why weren't you on him when he got on him? I, I broke a leg, I broke something. He, he broke broke no, he didn't jock me off. He broke not this time, he didn't jock me off. You broke your leg at Bangor, didn't you? That's right, horse, that's right, that's right. Did he see? That that's day. right. <laughs> no, he looked like losing his leg at one stage. Yeah, yeah. yeah that um, was the best. Yeah. And obviously you knew C. Pigeon earlier than than John did. He was some animal and the public loved him. Oh, he was a machine, really. I was lucky enough to win the... The e bore on him as well, yeah, and John rang me. Day. Yeah, there was no challenge for dropping your hands. Yeah, there was no challenge for that day. They were on strike, <laughs> so that was quite good, well, really. Well, certainly, I'm not the film. Yeah. That's right. But um, when John wrote him the following year, he rang me up, and I said I was in front too long with him last year, so John did the masterpiece on him to give him a fantastic ride. Well, do you know what? Easy, you yeah, know? but people say that, but you know, to be perfectly honest. He won so easily. Yeah, if, yeah. You know, you'd done well to have got him beat. He could have, I could have jumped the second last and gone on him. He did still won. You know, Peter's, when I went into the paddock, he said he was £10 better than he was last year. Jeez. And you, you get horses like that, but he yeah. was just, just had a bit of and quality to about him. Same yard, John, do night nurse Yeah, season, and he was 10 when he won his first time and then 11. It was yeah. amazing, like, you know? Yeah. Riding Cheltenham, yeah. um, obviously, the course that the, we've established that the going is got better down the years, though we're not sure about this year. What are the complex, what, is it what you call a difficult course to ride, John? Uh, it's difficult in as much as if you take a two mile race, if you think they're going too fast early on and you say, right, I'm just gonna let them go a little bit. By the time they've just gone away from the stands, you can be in a position that's gonna be difficult to start making your round up. Um, they, Ruby always says it's about position. Well, it's about, it's about how you use up what petrol you've got in the tank. You know, if you've got one that's going well and you jump the first two well and you can sit four or five lengths off and going around, it's, you know, then that's fine. But if you're on one that's absolutely flat to the boards and you want to say, look, I'm just going to have to bide my time, you go around the corner, you can be 15 lengths off the leaders. Then you go down the hill. Fred, if you went off the inside, would you know, you'd have a hissy fit when you came back in, you'd have to have six pages of written fool's cap to explain <laughs> why, and, got, and there was never an excuse for letting somebody up your inside, but no. going off the inside, that took a bit of explaining. So you had to either have enough to get in and nick up the inside, or just hope that, you know, things had gone your way a little bit. But, you know, they run down that dip, they go up the other little bit, the dip the other side, you're still a mile from, you're further from home there, 
when you look to where the winning post is, then you'd ever ride work in the morning, mm. and yet people kick on. The, the more races are lost through going too soon at Cheltenham than anywhere. The top of the hill is still a, a country mile or two from the winning mm. post. And you sometimes see jockeys riding there, you think they think the post is down there at the bottom of the hill. Yeah. There's another look. What did, so, what did so you so win the Triumph Hurdle on? It went through and Peter off. Peter off. It came through him, it was like a ratsy. You know, they'd gone so fast and mm. you just saw this thing come through that looked like it had just jumped in. Yeah. And never, you know, never came off the bridle. You yeah. know, and, and if you've got a trainer that's got enough confidence in you to say, look, just give it a little bit of a chance. I mean, there was a horse that I saw run at Kempton the other day behind um, that um, horse of Fergal O'Brien's, was it Master D or something, that won uh, the big yeah, Beth Fair yeah. chase? Yeah. Uh, Master D, Master D. Yeah. There was a horse that finished fourth in that. That was, I'm sure Paul Nichols had told him to be up there in the first two. I sat and watched that. I thought he would have won five lengths, never come off the bridle if he'd sat still on it and just dropped it in a little bit. Um, but it's, you know, it's just having a confidence in what you're doing, I think. And John, Joe, John, they go a half yard quicker, don't they? They do, yeah. Is, is that something to do with the, obviously the occasion, it's their huge prize money at stake, but does everyone get sort of G'd up in the weighing room and... Yeah, there's a part of that, really, and obviously you're riding a good horse. When you get to Cheltenham, they're all, they're all good horses, and it actually rides a very tight track. As John yes. said, when you go down to the water jump, you're on a bend all the way around mm. until you start to straighten up down the hill. And then if you've a bit to do, they'll wing it down the hill. So as John says, if, if, you, if you've missed that kick, you might as well sit and wait till you get to the bottom and take your chances you'll come home, you know? But that's grand saying that here, when you're on something and you're supposed to be in a different position <coughs> and you couldn't get there. But so a lot of lads have to be quite cool, really. And there's a, there's a, you go and look back through the history <coughs> of races at Cheltenham, not just at the festival. It's amazing how often you'll see, you'll recall horses come in from out of the clouds yes. to win at Cheltenham. Yeah. You know, you, you go out for the first race, you're not riding a different type of animal. It's no different to the one you rode at Sandown and Newby the type before. It isn't going to do two miles a little bit quicker, you know, going 10% quicker, because that's just not the way it works. But they all jump out and go that way. They're yeah. desperate to be in a good position, go past the bend. There's more races lost by the time they go past the stands mm -hmm. than anywhere. And I always remember days when we used to work Channel 4 together and do the paddock stuff. You would often call a horse as a faller, two fences before you'd say, well, he, he might not go this one, but he will go but oh, yeah. this one. And it was kind of uncanny. But, yeah, but, but you can see him. I mean, that... Uh, well, what is it you'll see? Uh, right, I'll give you an example. There was a horse around last year called Squatter that's been fancied yeah. for this year. Very much so. Just a question of window. question of which fence he was going to fall at. Now, he might have been short of oxygen last year. I don't know. But I watched him run in the race that he ran in last year, and I thought I'd pull him up if I was riding him. But anyway, he, he fell. He was travelling well, but he was, he was always going to fall. Um, I haven't watched him this year, but hopefully he's jumping a bit better. But, you know, you can just see him. You know, they, they just get lower and lower. Yeah, yeah. And who are the great riders, other than yourselves, of course? Oh, yeah, we rode so many winners. He rode nine, I rode <laughs> you ten. Really? Oh, I bet you can name you for one. No, no. And your Gold Cup winner, Midnight Court. No, Midnight Rock, Court. Midnight Court. Olive Jackson. Yeah. That course was run in April because the meeting was about in Gold Cup Day. What was it like winning your Gold Cup in April? Was it kind of... It's, well, it, was, you just it, wasn't, it wasn't worth any less in April, <laughs> put it that way. Um, a, a lot of the lads had backed him in March. Um, and he'd, it wouldn't have matter where you'd run it or on what ground he'd have won. He was just a good horse at that particular stage of his career. Um, now he was really good. But, you know, the, the, the lads that have ride well today... Uh, they're all, the, it's the same that ride well all the way through the year. You know, there's people that have ridden a few winners and have a little bit of confidence. It's, it's, it's no different to playing football or anything if you've got a bit of confidence. It's all about confidence. Isn't yeah, it? being able. You can't go out and ride with one part of your brain thinking, I wonder if this trainer is, thinks I'm too far back or I'm doing this. You've got to have them completely confident in what you're doing so that you can just say, 
I bet Ruby Walsh never thinks to himself, I wonder what Willie's thinking nah. or nah. whatever. You've just got to say, I am concentrating completely on what this horse is doing underneath me and how much petrol I'm using. And that's basically it. And you want to use you, as little as possible. You always talk, oh, you lads always talk about confidence. But once you've been riding a few years, I can't see what assails you in your mind. I mean, you, you know you're good at it. Oh, listen, I, I, think, I think other people will put doubt in your mind um, and you see it time and time again. You'll give lads a few tips on what they should be doing when they're riding and it's fine until they come under pressure and nine times out of ten they'll go back to doing what they were doing beforehand mm. because that part goes and they start concentrating on something else. So if all the basics are in position then I think just that makes a bit of a difference. But there's a lot of things will go through your mind when you're going to the start, won't there? If you're used to riding a horse and he's not giving you the same feel, you then your mind yeah, starts... Yeah. Well, if, well, listen, you know? if it's not that, that's what you're getting paid to do. Yeah. You go down to the start and you think, does it feel right? It, it, I know when I rode Sea Pigeon, I was following a horse and I thought, God, I don't want to be following him. Is he going to, you know, because he's a bad jumper, it yeah. fell and went left. So luckily I was on the other side. But like thing, things like yeah. that are the things that you've got to be thinking of. And John Joe, when you won the Gold Cup first, it was on Alverton. What was that like? That was heavy ground, yeah. really heavy <laughs> ground. It was really heavy. Um, and um, he, he, Tommy, he, talk about riding Cheltenham well, Tommy Carmony. Carberry, yes. he was brilliant. Well, both of them were actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> both of them were. But um, Tommy, he just used to just but he, sit he up was and the same. He never bothered about anything. Never bothered. No. Yeah. Just rode the horse as he found it. I'd say you couldn't if you gave him instructions. It wouldn't make any difference. He'd just do his own yeah. thing, wouldn't he? You know. And he was a brilliant rider, really. Oh, you know. Like Paul when he ran on the like, Frenchman's yeah. Creek of Huey Morris's yeah. came yeah, from absolutely. out of the clouds. Yeah. Going too yeah. fast, boys. Yeah. Let Never give it a second thought. No. I'll light a cigarette. No yeah. other thing is see when you see <laughs> what see yeah, see when see, 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 yeah. see you when come back. Yeah. Yeah. No. And I mean. For me, the most indelible Gold Cup of all, John Joe, was Dawn Runs. And three out, did you think you had a chance of winning? Three out, I thought I would win. Um, <coughs> and I thought we'd gone a right good gallop, you know. Mm. And going to the second last, I could hear the boys coming behind me and I'm thinking, Jesus. So I gave her a slap at the second last and she jumped as well. And they passed me as if I was standing still. And I thought I'm beat, like, you know, for a few strides. And I just left her alone for a little while. And she just relaxed and took a good breather. And away she went again, really. But we'd gone such a good pace. Smith Eccles was on um, run and skip. And we mm. were ding dong all the yes. way, all the John's way. Yeah. Much, yeah. And we didn't get a chance to get a breather in, you know. So um, once she got her breath in, she fine, you know. And, where the lad was in front of us going to the last, or after the last, and I wrote him the year before he finished, or he didn't get the trip. Actually, Michael and me often have an argument about that, but he didn't get the trip, <laughs> and that's the reason why... And he'll still be happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why Don won one, because I knew he wouldn't get up the hill, you know. But it's a brilliant but, uh, race. No matter how many times you oh. watch it, you still think she can't win. Yeah. It's, oh. it's brilliant. People yeah. always say, "Oh, what's your favourite race?" It's always, always. I think it's certainly my favourite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's certainly mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the scenes afterwards were just spectacular. Yeah, they were. Yeah, it was the proper old Cheltenham, wasn't it? Was. You know. Yeah. 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 It was brilliant. Yeah. And let's have a look at this year's races. Um, what are your feelings on, say, the Champion Hurdle, John? It looks like a one-horse race, doesn't it? There's no, there's never no. no such thing. I watched Faheen win first time out this year, and I thought, you know, Clive's got the fastest horse in Europe, in Harry Angel. I said, I don't think he'd have laid up with him for four furlongs. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And whether he had a hard race, and he's just taken a bit of time to come back, mm. but if he comes back to that form, yeah. it'll be a ding dong battle mm. between the two of them. Mm. Um, the Arkle. Looks good. They've got those two front runners, Footpad and Saint Calvados. If the other, the, he's got to jump better. The grey horse, um, Petit Mouchoir. Petit Mouchoir. He Little won't. Hanky. 
He is, Slipney. yeah, little right, yeah. You, you, Come on, little you, Anki. Yeah, if you get a speak, you want a big Anki. <laughs> but he, um, he won't win anything if he doesn't jump better yeah. than he's been doing. Um, but it's just a question of. It looks a hot arkle, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah it's a great arkle, yeah. Mm. They're great racers, really. They're brilliant. They're, yeah. They're the races you go to Cheltenham for, yeah. aren't they? They're top class. And we got too many races there, don't you? I'm sure you. I think we've yeah, it's, it, it, listen, when you go into the four days, you're going to weaken it out a little bit, aren't you, really? I mean, the three days were magic and they were harder, but as a trainer now, I'm glad there's four days. It gives you a little bit more chance to get yeah, away. absolutely. <laughs> you know? Except, isn't that well, there's always yeah. computer adding but machines. But it's more, more, for the owners. The it's more for the owners as well. Yeah. There's seven more chances for an owner to have a yeah. winner there. I think Nick is also winning the Gold Cup, but he might bite. You do. What about the yeah. ground? Of the ground is don't, but don't you make any difference what no. ground you're running on? When you look back through the history of the RSA chase, it either kills horses yes. mm. and they never it come hasn't. back, or it turns out they're good. All yeah. the ones that have done well, that have won it and gone on, and they've, special. they've all done well the following season. So yeah. he's won an RSA mm. chase. He should have won by 25 lengths. Mm. Yeah. How he got back up, he must be a proper horse. Yeah, exactly. And then... Because that um, really did look impossible. Yeah, oh, then he yeah comes absolutely. Out and wins. So then he comes up and wins the King George. So I would say he's a really good horse. And the other flip side of that is Gold Cup winners, how often do they come back? Very yeah. rarely do they ever come back. Yeah. That horse, I don't care how well she says our Duke is, he came back and flopped. Yeah. Yeah. Sizing John. Yeah. Sizing, Sizing, John, Sizing yeah. John, rather. Um, yeah. I'd be I'd be weary. I think the two things are in this What about Manila Rocco, John Joe? Hasn't had a great preparation again. Yeah, there was a big message you know. for him last year. I know yeah. more of that was short than the betting, but there was a strong message round here in the in the um, public bars that Manella was in good form. Yeah, he, 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 he's in not quite as good shape. No, no, he's in great form. I'm very yeah. happy with him. I'm just mm. disappointed that he fell the last day at at um, Leperstown, but he does need the good ground because otherwise it catches his wind, you know. Yeah. Um, so a lot will depend on the ground. But I'd be as happy with him as I was going last year, really, if the ground is good. And what do you think will win the race? If, should, you know, taking well, him out of the equation, are you a Mike I'm, I'm a Mike bite as well, to be honest. I think he's a, a bit of an exceptional good horse, to be honest, mm -hmm. yeah. Because we really haven't seen all of him yet, have we? Well, he just keeps, do you know what he does? He's, 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 well, he's obviously a very good jumper. He travels well, covers a lot yeah, of ground. Yeah, he does everything. When he's galloping, he? <coughs> I know he's got plenty of jumps. Jumps, for travels, you know, he does everything yeah, you he, want he, him to do. Yeah, really. when, like I said, you go back and look through the horses that have gone on from the RSA chase, they've all been good horses. Yeah, now, good horses. You wonder you are much ahead of Frankie on his training. Um, Cheltenham winners because John trained for 12 minutes, decided mm. all the owners were pillocks. And how many, how how many winners <laughs> have you trained at the festival? I don't know, to be honest. It's a big 20, number. 20, yeah, 20 something. 20 something. Yeah, it's anyway. great yeah. effort, isn't it? Including uh, yeah. of the fences, he's always would go back to synchronised Gold Cup when he made five mistakes, which 20 years earlier would have bought any one. He'd have only made one mistake. What was that? At the first. He'd have only made one mistake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, are they easier? Or are the fences yeah, easier? Yeah. Much yeah. easier, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. And, and rightly so. It's, it's good for everything. Nobody wants to see followers no, anymore, really, to anymore be honest. you want to see them paddling no. up the hill. Um, but what about your yard going in this year i mean you i rang you a few days ago and you were sort of making hmm, sort of <laughs> it's very unlike you well we haven't had a great run really yeah. the ground has been desperate i haven't been running very many to be honest so but they're in great form at the moment they're, if we get a bit of distance and now to cheltenham a bit of sunshine like this have you got anything for you and john joe to ride yeah um mm -hmm. uh, might have won in the martin pipe yeah might have won the martin pipe but what would um, that be was that D, not the demon? Dream Berry, but right. he's also in the Coral Cup, so yeah. it depends on which way he goes, you know. And what about Forts of Milan and the Yeah, Potence? he's in the Potence. He That's just might sneak in a bit, hopefully. Yeah, mm -hmm. he could run well. I could see him. He'd be running well at the top of the hill and he could get done for tour coming down, but hopefully he'll come home, you know. And he um, won that before, for goodness sake. Yeah, and um, the other horse in the Fred went to... Um, um, which his name has escaped oh, me at the minute. Uh, Night Destroyer. <laughs> Night Destroyer. He could run okay in the in the Fred Winter. He's he's done nothing wrong really this year. 
Johnny, an app of the week or two for the week? Go on. Uh, I think Kalashnikov. I couldn't think of one horse that's running in that Supreme would have won the um, big that's race right. at Newbury right. Right. Um, as well as he did. And I think she's an exceptional trainer. Um, she knows, rises, she's yeah, really. no, knows a job, and he looked a big, you know, and he's got a bit of size and scope about him. Um, Do you want a bit further? You, yeah, but they normally did. They'll go mm. to the gallop, and you travel yeah. as well. You know, come there's, up the hill you, there's loads of arguments. You could say, mm. why, why is he going to beat Somerville Boy? You know, and there's, yeah. there's millions of others. But and he just, say, yeah. he just looks, a, yeah, he just looks well, a nice horse. Yeah, but if right. you said to me, you can have one bet, um, it would be Mike Bite. Mm. Yeah. And John, Joe, what are the horses you're looking forward to seeing? I um, think are going to, to win. I mean, obviously, you enjoy seeing the Altiors, but I mean, Altior might have issues with the grounds not too clever. Yeah, um, Nicky is a nice horse um, in the Alba Uh um, Yes, it's called. Uh, sort of. S yeah. Santini. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never he, he, you remember horses. He, yeah. In your yeah. life, you show off. <laughs> yeah, he's a nice horse. Yeah. He's done nothing wrong. And I say he's an improver. The trip will be right for him. He's a gorgeous horse. I was, um, we were trying to buy him at the festival last year, but anyway, we didn't successfully get there. I'll tell you, there's a big off. price horse that's running mm. that I watched win at Ascot, one of JP's called Drumcliff, and he looked Ooh. a proper horse. He mm. ran in a race at Warwick that he couldn't win, that St. Calvados won. Yes. So he, he couldn't win that race, but do you know what? He still jumped well, getting mm. taken off his feet. And that's a tricky jumping. In, an, in a novice handicap, but if he gets in, mm. is he be nearer the front than the back, I would have thought. And finally, do you still look for, I mean, for you, it's stress and everything and so on and so forth. He looks stressed, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. yeah. always looks yeah. stressed, doesn't he? But do you still look forward to it? Through oh, God, yeah. Because you are under huge pressure from owners who ask you stupid questions and oppressed. Yeah, the but he, he, listen, if you didn't get a kick out of it, you wouldn't be in the game. This is what you work for all season, really, you know. The whole yard, everybody is involved, you know, and looking for looking after horses to run at Cheltenham and so on and so forth. So, what we run there, we try and hopefully they have a good chance, you know. But as we all know, it doesn't work out like that. But he look forward to it, and um, if you get a winner, brilliant, you know. I'm totally used to it, don't you? I love it. Do you know for every single race? Everybody's got an opinion. Yes. You know, I, just we're talking about Kalashnikov, <coughs> Summer Hill Boy, Getterberg. Suddenly, it's like waiting for you know the answers for the crossword. Yeah, you know, it's come up, and you know you're going to be wrong most of the time. All the answers to <laughs> to whatever. Rain of Britain quiz. I he used know. to drive I... Fred Winter a lot <laughs> when he's first started the yard, and Fred would get behind the paper, Sporting Life, and they'd have the radio, and it was Rain of Britain. And the first question would be, who was king of Albania? And Frank would go, oh, that was uh, Zog, wasn't it? And the paper would flicker. And after you got about six of the first ten right, the paper would begin to... And he must be thinking, I've got it right, clever one. Yeah. <laughs> this was usually on a Tuesday. It had been on on the Sunday and he just written the answers down. <laughs> Horrible man. Actually, it wasn't that I'd written the answers down. I couldn't remember most of the answers, which obviously sounded more authentic. But he thought I was a lot brighter than I was, that's for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much, thanks. Brilliant. <laughs>